for a life in godliness. There's nothing in my life in this world, whether it be the fruit I see, whether it be the fruit, whether, whether I don't see enough of the fruit of the Spirit, or I see too much of the works of the flesh, or I lack hair, or I lack money, or I lack a spouse, or me and my spouse don't get along, or my children are a disaster, any of those things. Those things, if you say those things impact whether or not you have life, that's, the, that's a destructible life. An indestructible life is that none of those things can be a word that I lack what I need for life. And when you walk in the power of a life that can't be decayed by any of those things, it causes the fruit of God's life to reign over you. And so we're not busy trying to have fruit. We're busy trying to be persuaded that death has no dominion over us. We're not busy trying to produce fruit to have peace. We're busy trying to be persuaded that we've been made partakers of that eternal life that is indestructible in Jesus. We're trying to be persuaded by that. Why? Because we live in a world that's constantly telling us we lack what we need for life. And so we're not busy trying to find life in the world. We're not busy trying to say if I can bring forth enough good fruit, then I can be persuaded that I'm the blessed of God, or I can be persuaded that I have life. We're trying to be busy believing that we already have all things that pertain to life and godliness. That's the battle here, guys. The battle isn't trying to do good and not do bad. The battle is trying to believe, yo, though I be in the valley of the shadow of death, the death that is in this valley has no dominion over me. That's the thing we're in. That's what we're trying to be persuaded of. That's what God's trying to persuade us of. God's not trying to persuade us that the works of the flesh are bad and the fruit of the Spirit is good. He's trying to persuade us that our life is not hid in this world. That it's not contained in what happens to us in this world. So that we can then believe we are partakers of an indestructible life. And when the power of an indestructible life reigns over us, then we'll find the fruit that manifests in our life unto God. You see how that works? 